Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo team yet. You need to pick up the pace. Can't wait for you. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh fish. Water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off. Warning, EPD laser active. Audio log for Kyle Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh, the elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the quark emitters in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. It's almost like the person was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the back side of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you can consider that living, but they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that with brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 752. End of log.
Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was one John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on the benefit payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well, because according to these reports, the Fed is breaking down on the basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of log.
Oh, you startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydrogon's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful of that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been. For generations, humankind has lived under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and even air. To meet that need, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, 
rich in naturally occurring iron oxides, they are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. Atom by atom, the UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence, fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon will, in one dramatic move, forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engines. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the Hydrocon can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the Hydrocon will continue to make safer worlds for everyone.
Hello, hello. Is this reaching anyone? I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. the dawn of the space age. Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments even more. Move, move, move! The space machines and the big question. Can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space research a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff, September 14, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. If there is some kind of security, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own stuff. This is Andrew Chief. Marine, Bravo team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job, and of course I check all of their data to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge moneymaker for the company, and quite honestly, without my input and hard work, I am not sure that we would have gotten this far. But I wanted also to thank you for your supervisory role in the project.
working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year reports, as I'm certain I deserve a promotion. Uh, Walter out. The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Vitruvi. Shoot. Uh, I can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out. A big one could knock out our lights. Come on, I can't wait. There's one. Wow. 
What was that? Stay close.
toxic gas levels decreased 50%. Toxic gas is cleared. Waste disposal area now safe for entry. Marine, we gotta pick up the pace. We have more men down. Bravo team is barely holding their own. This is Operations Coordinator Mark Lamia. Dated November 1st, 2145. I'm filing this report because I am frustrated beyond belief by the level of incompetency I have to deal with here. I don't know where HR is getting the new employees, but the last five guys they've sent me were all a bunch of idiots. They can't get any of their work done on time, I constantly have to keep an eye on them. They work slow, they don't follow any of the standard operating procedures, and they can't even remember basic things that I tell them. For example, I changed the cabinet door codes here to 123 because I thought that was easy enough to remember, but they still forgot it. I don't understand why HR can't get me better people. I'm requesting full authority to hire and fire my own employees. It's the only way I can run my department smoothly. End of log. Since the dawn of the space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments to even more daring extremes. With an abundant production of hydrogen fuel, thanks to the Hydrocon, the specialist teams asked the big question, 
Can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space research a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Betruger, key UAC scientists have made startling new discoveries in the fields of quantum physics. And with them, they have been able to use the actual space between electrons and protons in a molecule as a storage medium for fuel in our interplanetary antimatter drives. Now, fuel that would once take up half the payload of an interplanetary ship only occupies a fraction of that space. You are looking at the Molecular Fuel Storage Compactor. The MFS compressor is yet another UAC marvel that brings the dream of reaching and colonizing the most distant planets closer to a reality. The UAC has long made safer worlds for everyone, and now they will bring those worlds even closer than you could ever imagine.
Marine, I was able to locate your position. Corcom systems are beginning to malfunction and shut down. Classic service disruptions throughout the entire base. I don't know how long I'll be able to track you. Bravo team has just entered the end front. Pick up the pace. You aren't far behind. the door locks and get me out! Thank you! Thanks for getting me out of there. I got trapped in the chamber when the power went out. I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why none of the systems are responding. I'm going to try to get an uplink into the main system from here. This is a secure terminal. I might be able to get a connection. In a quest to provide armies with a well-balanced set of weapons, UAC looked to the past when designing and manufacturing the newest line of Mach 2 chain guns. The retro style and mechanical sturdiness of the chain gun is a must for all hardened combat veterans. Early adapters have nicknamed it SAW. With its armor-piercing 30 caliber bullets, the chain gun is capable of literally cutting opponents in two. Packed with all the punch you need in close combat fighting, the chain gun delivers unparalleled reliability and functionality. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. Security log number 3072 for Delta Security Chief Michael Abrams, November 15th, 2145. I've just come from the Armament Division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> While they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models. Wouldn't be so bad, Karen, this one. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself.
Well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security port in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. <laughs> Chief Abrams, and the log. Schematics show all passages. Your area blocks. The only way through is by traversing the EFR, mechanical subsystem with two possible routes through it. Activating the system will get you a direct route, but it's dangerous. Extending the service bridge is essential for the mining system. Good luck. This is the audio log of plant manager Henry Nelson, dated October 24th, 2145. I don't know how I should report this, so I'll just talk about what I know and what I need. I've had quite a few employees reporting to me that they've heard strange sounds, like voices talking to them, calling them, even when they were alone. At first, I didn't believe them. The guys down here like to kid around, but they assured me they were serious. I ignored the stories at first, until one day, I heard something too. I was working on one of the lift-up service panels, and I distinctly heard the voice of someone saying, Over here. I quickly turned to see who was there, but the passage was completely empty. I looked around, but I didn't see another soul. I even checked the work logs, and no one else was working near that area. I don't want to sound crazy here, but my guys and myself are a little spooked, and some of the guys were even talking about ghosts. So, to make everyone, including myself, feel a little more comfortable, I'd like to request that a security team make a thorough check of the EFR. Oh, thank you. Henry Nelson. 